Good morning and welcome to Daily Walk Through the Psalms. Today we are in Psalms chapter 30. You know, in California there is a Calvary Chapel. Pastor Mike McClure is the pastor there. And just reading today, uh, they have experienced victory after a couple of year trial. Um, over $3 million in fines um, during the whole COVID epidemic, pandemic, scandemic, whatever you want to call it, and um, trying to force churches to close down. And praise the Lord, Pastor Mike uh, stood strong. Uh, he believed that keeping his church open was more important and certainly is than shutting it down. Uh, he says, I thank God our actions have been justified by the court of appeal. We are here to help hurting, save the loss and worship without government intrusions. And so many people have come to the Lord uh, in those couple of years. And can you imagine if the doors were shut? What a sad thing it is that many churches did shut down. How many people have been disillusioned and gone astray since then? And here's a pastor uh, in uh, San Calvary Chapel, San Jose, Calvary Chapel Christian Fellowship, that stayed open. Uh, in fact, he, it's mentioned that over in the, just in the last few weeks, over 400 people have been baptized uh, in the Lord. And so what a joy it is uh, to see the victory that God has wrought, that God has brought forth. Uh, we see that here in Psalm 30, King David had experienced the same kind of persecutions uh, coming from the outside and some from the inside as well. And even during those times of tribulation and trial, what do we see him cry out? He says, I will extol you. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not made my foes to rejoice over me. O oh Lord, my God, I cried unto you, and you have healed me. O oh Lord, you have brought up my soul from the grave. You have kept me alive that I should not go down in the pit. Now think about that. You know, we, we cry about the Lord to save us or deliver us. And we think, well, Lord, uh, we're, we're, most of the time, I, I personally think of just my own hide. But if you think of it in the long term, you know, as we experience God getting us through those troublous times and seeing uh, His glory at the end of the tumble, tunnel, I think that's the greatest thing, is God gets glorified in all this. And people are looking on and seeing us standing fast the best we can. I mean, we're human and there's times when we're, we're struggling and everything else. But the fact is people are looking on and seeing us going through those trials and then, and then seeing us getting through them in giving glory to God, uh, seeing uh, us not move in our in our foundation of faith and trust in the Lord, and yet God gets us through, and all the glory belongs to the Lord. Uh, what a wonder it is! Uh, we're not dead, you know. The idea is, and and uh, we have, you know, Lord, how can you get glory if we go down in the pit? And He's He's not going to allow that to happen. He's going to bring us through it because he loves us and cares about us and 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 unto him he gets all the glory sing unto the lord verse for you all you saints and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness i love that word holiness it's idea of a perfection it's the idea of completeness and wholeness and and that is our god he's complete and whole and and we are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power the bible says as we trust in him god you know even though we are insecure we are inadequate in many ways god in him we are whole and complete his holiness is manifested in our lives in a mighty way our his wholeness and that's what gets us through that's the that's the uh, just the Sustenance, sustenance and substance that gets us through everything is, is him in us and in he says 
for his anger endures but for a moment, verse 5, in his favor's life, we can be made door for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And that's exactly it. I mean, we may weep through the night in prayer and in waiting on the Lord, but in the morning, just as the sun is sure to come up, so is the glory and presence and victory of the Lord in our lives. And we thank God for that. Verse 6, in my, in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. <laughs> I love that. In the Lord, he is our defense. We're never going to be moved. Lord, by your favor, you have made my mountain to stand strong. You did hide your face, and I was, I was troubled. You made my mountain to stand strong. And, and, and of course, David, that, that has the idea of his palace being on the hill. I mean, he, he, can you imagine, Lord, all we've been through and yet here's my home on the hill uh, it's just amazing how god takes care of us i cried unto you and unto the lord i made supplication what profit is there in my blood when i go down to the pit shall the dust praise you shall it declare your truth you know and and, and that's exactly the point god's purposes are going to be manifested uh, one way or another and it's such a joy to be hanging on and trusting the Lord and see His glory and His power manifested in our lives. And then we can experience and, and, and in a sense, share the glory of God, uh, although He gets all the glory. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be you my helper. And certainly He is a very present help in time of trouble, isn't He not? You have turned me... Turn, turn for me my morning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and you have girded me with gladness uh, to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. Oh Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto you forever. And isn't that the wonderful thing? You know, even though we may pass from this body here on earth, this tabernacle, uh, we can praise Him while we're in this tabernacle and we know that the moment that our eyes close, we will be in heaven and we will be praising Him again and again forever and ever. And that is, that is the wonderful thing. You know, we see Calvary Chapel there in, in California Still praising the Lord and even more so and you know uh, hundreds of people coming to Christ and we were giving God the glory for all of this and now the courts uh, have basically sided with Pastor Mike and 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 things that you know and they see the light at the end of the tunnel and and, and see the glory of God manifest and, and that's exactly it God gets glorified in all of this and he and he just confirms in our hearts that faith that we had in him, it is, he is worthy, he is faithful. He is, he is so faithful and worthy of all our praise. Now and guys and gals, all the way into the future, into eternity uh, in the future, we will be able to glorify him. So don't give up. Whatever you're going through, uh, God is faithful and, and he will never fail you in Jesus' name. We pray, amen, amen.